Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's insert those moons and head over to another kingdom! Woo! Look at that, it's the last piece of the sail, which is now really a balloon! Look at that! What? And also... The paint job is complete! <laughs> yeah! Hmm, kidoki. Now, there's a spot over there at the moon. Bowser, Bowser's not getting away. We'll chase them all the way to the moon kingdom. Come on, let's save those Tierra Peach too. Ah, okay. <laughs> I thought I, I would go maybe to the Cloud Kingdom this part, but then I was like, you know, you know, we're so close to post game. I might as well get un get post game unlocked, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa! Mario is looking schnazzy. <laughs> and now, oh, hmm. Sparkly. Boy, this Odyssey can really travel when it's at f full bloom. Oh man, so spooky. Well, kind of. Actually, the moon is pretty dang awesome. <laughs> You'll see as when we land and move around and stuff like that. Uh oh, the bell chiming. Oh no. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, poopers. Well, don't you look dapper? Hmm. Those Tierra Peach to us be over there. No time to dilly dally. Let's go. Okay, and so we're moving. Everything looks normal until you jump. Do you feel light on your feet? Why, yes I do! The gravity is low here! So you can just imagine all the sorts of jumps and stuff you can do in this uh, sort of gravity. But anyway... Dunk. Let's go up here and take a look-see around. Look at the regional coins! What are they? You guessed it! Star Bits! Yes! They're back! They're back! <laughs> and you can really make th make things fly too. I probably shouldn't have hit that one over the over the edge of the world there. But anyway, I'm just gonna jump off of here and <laughs> it's shining above the moon. Normally you would just do some like fancy jumping stuff and it's directly above this crater, but I just got it from up there. Just because <laughs> So, where should we explore first? Could you say hello to that Astral Lancer over there? Not to be confused with the boss, it's like a more meager version, I guess you could say. But really, actually, we kind of kind of have to go along these paths, because it's kind of hard to get to the other side without taking these paths. And hey, it's those weird metal blocks, and they're in quite high quantity. Interesting, no? Interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna hop myself up through here. Oh! I tried. Could you at least give me a sticker? <laughs> You're gonna do it nice and smoothly, but no, but no. And now you might, uh, might understand the origin of the moon snake a little bit better than just me describing them as little asteroids, because there's a whole bunch of them hanging around up here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, you can even get super distance to your long jump like never before. It is sensational. So as I said, you can do a whole bunch of things that you might not normally be able to do all that easily <laughs> in other places here. So it's pretty dang fun to... Oh yeah, I forgot I could destroy those things. Gimme! Thank you. <laughs> Caught hopping on the moon. Heck yeah. And also a suspicious wall jumping looking area. Or should I say a wall floating looking area? Hmm. 
Travel tip. I very dumb and realize it. I was taught this by Cappy. <laughs> Bunk. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look, see around this upper tier. Yes, it's a cup. Wow, just looking up at our own planet just takes my breath away. You mean back over there? Yeah, I came up here mainly for the view. <laughs> Pretty nice, right? And now you can even see from the back side of this. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go in! It's even low gravity in here. That might not work out. Oh, that worked out just fine, actually. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work based on how, how pixel perfect that landing was, or gonna be. But it worked out. And there's the moon. Magical along the cliff face. Anything else? Wasn't there like a. Uh, I don't remember if that. Well, I think there was those purples, but I mean, I don't remember if there was another moon. Let's see if we can get ourselves a. That sounded like Sonic stopping animation. <laughs> no, that's not. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's it. I'm gonna assume. Maybe. Could be. But yeah, that's when typically people find out about the 8-bit place, is when they go up to the other ledge there. And actually, about this jump here, you can actually make this. I do believe... Yeah, I kind of exaggerated the size of that jump in low gravity, just because I wanted to go around the long way and then show you the jump on the way back. So Astro Lancer here has got some spiky shells. You want to get on top of its head and... Well, well I missed, but you want to get on top of its head and ground pound it. Just like the big bad boss only only takes one hit to defeat. You can hit it with the hat, and it only just kind of like brush it off. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that close to you, but apparently I was. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do some... Oh, I was gonna say... Oh, it's, oh yeah, that's right, it's delayed. <laughs> what, what? Yeah, that's how it's done. <laughs> I just don't really have to kill them or anything like that. I'm just kind of having fun in the low gravity type area and whatnot. And you'll also notice there's some pretty treacherous looking jumps here, which aren't treacherous at all when you're in low gravity. It's kind of amazing how it feels, actually. <laughs> Even if you were to like come short, you could basically just wall kick back over to the block that you were just at because it's just the, the gravity is just that low. <laughs> and the check a point -a. Ho 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 ha. Whew, ringing bells plateau. Notice that there's a chest way out in the distance. Well, this one I don't think you can actually long jump unless you use the powers of the flowers. And we're here. <laughs> Gimme! The side treasure chests. And there's probably something up on this ledge just because it's a ledge. Just how things typically are. Oh no, oh wait, oh there's something behind the ledge. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, star bits. Yes. Every time there's a star bit, get a little thrill. Anyway. <laughs> I guess I can go up over there and see what that Astral Lancer is up, up to things. Oh, there's another one of those blocks. Another one of those blocks. Hmm. Hey, taking notes. Let's take some notes. Get your pad of paper and write out this melody. Mm, okay, it's not really a anything special of a melody. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> That was actually a pretty good result, considering how badly I had the camera for that second long jump. But it worked out. <laughs> I should have I should have just flipped the camera around, but eh, eh, we're okay. Mm, look, you can even flatten them into the ground like that. Forgot to show that as well. And dunk. Like, ooh, yeah, like a pro. That's how it's done. <laughs> 
Didn't we see some rocks like this back on the planet? Yes, we did! It was pretty weird what these poopers were, these metal... The camera, camera! These metal blocks. I was trying to get it to go close up by getting it... Like, eh, eh we're fine, but yeah. <laughs> you, could, you could see the texture of them detailed enough from there. <laughs> uh, so we got ourselves a little thin path here. Or there's a thick path over here, which you could use the flower for. <laughs> to choose whichever you're feeling most daring for, because down is death. And it will not forgive those who go into the doom. Oh, I missed. <laughs> okay, it'll sort of forgive those, because it's got the checkpoints with details. Six. All the way above the flower. And there we go. Might as well... Get the rest of those with a spinny spin, and continue on. Yeah, we're not too concerned about, you know, Bowser's wedding with Peach or something like that. Everything, everything seems just fine. Just let those bells toll, and hello, Sphinx! What you doing up here on the moon? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was wondering if that thing would break today. Alright, I guess I could do a little, little quiz with Sphinx here. How's it going? Greetings, traveler. Enter your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? Should you really be answering questions right now? <laughs> uh, uh, stingy. Should you really be answering questions right now? <laughs> hmm. Should you really be answering? Well. Should you really be answering? No, fine, fine. You got me. <laughs> yes, so very are correct answers. There's so many other things you could be doing with your time. <laughs> do what you must. I am done. All right, all right. So it has nothing to do with Sphinx at the moment, other than that silly thing. I set that up by us uh, talking about that Peach would be okay and whatnot before I reached its spot. <laughs> And if you'd like to take a look see around. Purples. Bowser's moon wedding is all the way in there. Stack of coins. Ship is there for his celebration. You can look all the way around. The places which I cleaned out pretty well up at this point, but there's gonna be stuff post-game and and the like, so don't 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 get too panicky or anything like that. Watch out! The hole back there is quail deep! Okay... Well, it can't be too deep, right? Oh, yeah, this is very deep! Down is death! Oh! Oh, it's not death, but it may as well be! Holy poop, it's the underground moon caverns! And we are rocking with the music! The gravity feels normal in here. Good to know, good to know. Just imagine if someone undershot their jump because they... Yeah, I got... Yeah, just saying. <laughs> anyway, go down here. Got a pair of dry bones hanging out over here. Oh! Take one over and fly, my pretties! Fly! <laughs> we got shrooms hanging out here. It is a battlefield fit for a Bowser. As a matter of fact, I'm going to trade my battlers here and make sure that I'm pointing at the screen this time. <laughs> <laughs> Break open that casing so that we can get our health upgrade for the future, I suppose. Uh, oh, wait, actually... Uh, I think there's actually some coins up here really quick. Yeah, just for the fun of it, I'll go walk along here. While you enjoy the music of epicness. Uh, I don't wanna go in there just yet, because I think, yeah, there's more on this side, of course. If you could get to it, there's probably something there, as I've been saying. Right. Oh, you got your hat back and everything. Wow, you, you just upgraded yourself right off the bat. Can I collect this with a shot? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, I lost my I lost my battler because it got lava on Oh, shoot, he shoots. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind being reckless when I've got my health upgrades. <laughs> and down over here is a hole. There is a key, which gives you a moon. Don't forget about that. Yes, a hole in the lava. I'm not sure how this works, but that's how you get that. And also a couple of purples hanging out down here. Might as well go ahead and grab those and kick yourself out here. Well, actually, no, no. I, why did I kick myself out there? I still got to get back here to get to the moon. 
Well, I mean, I guess I could probably done some fanciful triple jumps or wall kick. I mean, like, excuse me, wall. De Give me your body. <laughs> or, um. Uh, ooh, triple jump, long jump, yeah. But anyway, break this cage open, as I should have been doing, and go up to the next layer. Hmm. A switch. What could this mean? Well, of course you ground pound it, but the question is, what does it mean for us? What does it mean for the world? Can we make it through this? But with the powers of the hammers, there is nothing that can stop us. Ha 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 ha! As a matter of fact, it's probably a good idea to have hammers for this, because there's a- Whoa, 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 whoa. That was- that was bad. <laughs> I might want to go back and get myself some hammers here. You guys gonna respawn for me? Someone? And <laughs> anyone? Because I think I need hammers, actually, for something. Whoa! Okay, yeah, yeah, I know they just- the platforms keep res- There we go! I was gonna say the platforms keep respawning, I know that, but- the Hammer Bros are taking forever! I mean, it's it's wedding night, guys! You gotta hurry things along! Sphinx would not l Greece, just lost my health upgrade. Sphinx would not let, let you answer any questions! <laughs> it's that urgent! And if you'd like to, you can break apart, I should say, whack those suckers around, but... More importantly, just keep your Hammer Bro for as long as you can, I, because I... Oh, actually, maybe I don't need it here. So I thought I needed to, to get onto or break something and then jump onto it. Maybe I'm thinking some other area. I don't know. But all I know is there's some awesome tropical wigglers hanging out here. And if there's a tropical wiggler, I will take that tropical wiggler because it's gonna be fun. Maybe I should have grabbed the second one. It's a little bit, a little bit easier to dodge then when there's nothing to dodge at. All right. Get yourself over to the other side, prepare, and get on here, hurry, and grab these purples. Oh, no, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm not going to leave one purple out there in the open. I'd rather jump in the lava than leave a purple there for the sake of organization. <laughs> and we're going up. Hmm. That's it. Oh! Take it over and actually go back. Over to here. <laughs> you won't believe it, but there's actually something hidden way above the door over at the beginning. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? I had that. Oh! <laughs> oh, see you back around. Oh, wait, actually. Can I get those purples now? Uh, oh, may oh, yeah, I, was, I think I was supposed to get those with the bonsai. I'll come back for those later. <laughs> Let's try it! Hoo, 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 what? Uh, oh, what? Oh, oh, wait, what? That's... Oh, I can't even lava hop up there? Well... <laughs> my attempted shortcut failed me! And I just realized it pooped me back up here. <laughs> How convenient! Okay, so let's take this a little bit further this... Wait, actually, maybe not. I was gonna say, let's take it a bit further this time, but no, that would actually be further away from the, uh, the spot that we needed it at. So let's actually start it over here, and maybe take it. Let's <laughs> take maybe take it through the blocks, because that's probably the shortest route. And go! Oh, I shoot! I got off track. Uh, let's try this again here. <laughs> oh, wait, what did I do? That was not what I was aiming for. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to flip the camera around and I hit the wrong shoulder button. <laughs> uh, okay. Back here will do. But yeah, you can tell that I can make that with a long jump without using the uh, the powers of the para of dry bones. So, yeah. Details! Let's focus on this right now. I guess if I just don't make it, I'll just die and then restart from that place anyway. So, big whoop. I'm coming for this and I'm not leaving without this. Okay, okay. Yes, I got it this time! <laughs> Fly to the treasure chest and back. By back, there's actually a one-way line here. You just go meow like that and it'll automatically take you back over to this here. Yeah, so I, I wasn't actually going to lose progress by going all the way back there. But anyway, grab your I was- whoa, 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 grab- grab a bonsai again. And this, this time we're going to take it through the other way. I believe behind one of the walls is a moon, 
I forgot which one it was though, so let's just follow the path and then take a look back on our way there. I guess ooh, I should grab these over here probably for one thing. Okay. All right, I just want to take a look back here. Okay, yeah, there was a moon back over there. Uh, should I? <laughs> Might as well. I think it's just going to poop me back over by where that bonsai bill was. I hope. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's on the back side of that left wall there. So let's try this again here. I just didn't know, or remember, I should say, where the location of that moon was, so I'm gonna go loop around here, and look, yeah, around the barrier wall, okay, now how, how do I get out of here, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to use you guys here, you don't mind, do you, I hope you don't, oh, that's not, uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. okay, <laughs> just getting it, taking a little close here, Okay, so now I need to kind of lure something around here, or maybe get a bullet bill from another side. Is there anything coming from that? Oh, there, okay, there we go. I thought they would come around. <laughs> and this is where we would end up if we did that all in one shot. I know, I know. <laughs> so, got Mo Eyes here hanging out. Hit this. Obviously, it's invisible. So if you'd like... You could use this, or just memorize the locations of it in midair, which is a little dicey. But try and be quick, because, oh! Yeah, it's gonna eventually disappear while you're on it, so. Alright. We're off. Next segment is a go. Charge and Chuck! Oh! It can't be! I haven't seen you since Super Mario World in those... Weird Super Mario Brothers 3 E card or E reader levels. <laughs> so what you could do is you could take over the charging chucks and rampage through blocks any which way you please until you smack your face in a wall. Oh, just, just don't smack. There we go. Just smack your face in the wall a little too early there. So the idea of this is to crash through. The blockade of boulders here. I wonder if this is possible to do with just Mar Mario. I would presume it is, because there's those gaps between the boulders, but I never actually tried that before. Anyway, as you can tell, your charging Chuck buddy can't exactly do jumping of his own, so you're gonna have to go up here and grab another one. I'll just kind of stun you here for a second. This is uh, a little, little bit treacherous for these, but I was just gonna say, <laughs> you can go across them with the charging Chuck, but he just Kinda, yeah, he kind of did himself in there. <laughs> I was gonna show you that you can do this both ways, but he kind of he kind of demonstrated the possibilities of those things for me. <laughs> Just kind of ruined my plans with the AI that homes in on you. Okay, here we go. This is how you're supposed to do it. Ready? Set he go. <laughs> so basically, gaps to a charging chuck is like holding the run button across one block gaps in regular old two, uh, 2D 8-bit times. <laughs> and good! Alright, so let's go up to the top and see what awaits us. Maybe it's a wedding? Oh, it's Rosie O'Donnell! She's back! And her pet has been upgraded with more hats! Hmm. Do you remember me? You were ever so rude to me back in the Cascade Kingdom. In fact, you were quite rude to all my darling Brutals, which is why we're all here now. Now, I do believe it's lunchtime for my newly powered up Chain Choppikins. Let's take on Rosie once again. It's about time we had the rematch of the century with her, because we knew it was coming, considering <laughs> the, the, that the Brutal just never seemed to die, no matter what. <laughs> Delightful. And I probably shouldn't have taken that hit, because I already had some damage done to me, but eh, it will be fine, probably, as long as I use my noodle properly here. <laughs> just as long as I just keep myself avoided from those sorts of 
arrow markers there. We should be good to go. Oh, no. I got hit by her rolls. I got hit by her rolls. Oh, wow, they put me back here. Good, Arceus, that's a little punishing. <laughs> I guess not that punishing, but still. But still. We're back, boys! <laughs> it doesn't take long at all, really. <laughs> okay, so... I, I, she really is not a hard boss. I don't understand why... <laughs> I'm having such great difficulties whenever she pops in the picture. <laughs> Alright. So, if you didn't understand... Seriously? So, if you didn't understand from the dialogue, Madame Brood here is actually the leader of the Broodles. The Topper is kind of like the secondary leader when they're all together without her. That's why Topper is kind of like... I, I guess you want to say the brains of the operation, but that's uh, that, that might be uh, giving him a little too much credit there. <laughs> Jesus, Arceus. How could I possibly be having this much difficulties with Rosie O'Donnell? At such a late stage in the game. <laughs> Alright, so now there's a ton of hats, tons of fun, tons of potato chips eaten before this battle for the upgrade of the century. <laughs> I should probably do a couple of smacks there. And whoa, whoa, whoa should probably get, get get some distance here. You know, you gotta use use the noodle properly here. <laughs> I said I was gonna use the noodle if I'm at one health. And that is what I intended on doing. Alright. One more hit ought to take care of Rosie O'Donnell once and for all! Yes! Yes! Oh. Oh. Wait, I don't even get a move for that? Man, what a ripoff. <laughs> Oh, I can't even collect all those coins with the spin. Oh man, what a ripoff! <laughs> all right, that is taken care of. We can go ahead and hit the checkpoint on the other side of this door. Well, soon on the other side of this door. Yeah, we've made it to the church. Uh huh. But, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end off the part here, because we're coming close to the very, very end game, end game, end game. So with that, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Will you see what's up with the church?